The president is not the only one making his final arguments to voters ahead of Tuesday's deadline. So are high-profile stars on both sides of the aisle. Former presidents Barack Obama and, as you heard Tom mention, Donald Trump have held rallies across the country to court voters, and they will stay busy over the next five days. These events have gained importance as races tighten and the margins become necessary. But are these last-minute rallies changing any minds? I think that's a pretty good question. Let's bring in Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil to answer it. Joe, what are the campaigns doing as we barrel toward the finish line? Well, it seems pretty clear at this point, Mitch, that, you know, for the White House, for Democrats, and really for Republicans in these really tight races, and you mentioned margins, that's sort of the magic word there is those margins. It's going to be about turnout. It's turnout, turnout, turnout. You're not really seeing them try to win over any new voters at this point with just a couple of days left. And so what you're seeing from the White House is really an all-out blitz nationwide, literally coast to coast. You heard Tom mention President Biden. He's going to be on the West Coast today in New Mexico. And he's also critically going to California, specifically the San Diego, Orange County area. And Vice President Kamala Harris, she will be on the opposite coast in New York State. Uh, she is going to be campaigning there with Governor Kathy Hochul. What do those two places have in common? New York State and specifically the Orange County, San Diego area of California. What they have in common really tells the story for Democrats. Both are places where not that long ago, really just a few weeks ago, Democrats felt really good and confident about their chances. Today, not so much. You've got a handful of House seats that are going to be really important for Democrats to try to hold on to that are now toss-ups. And President Biden will be campaigning with Congressman Mike Levin. He is one of those state, one of those races where he was confident in his uh, House seat. He had a big lead. And now it is up in the air. In New York, same story. Governor Kathy Hochul, amazingly, a Democratic governor in New York, her race is now sort of inching closer to 50-50 with the Republican challenger uh, Lee Zeldin there, something that a couple of weeks ago seemed pretty impossible. So it's going to be about turnout at this point. You're seeing the White House do that all-out blitz, President Obama as well. And the headwinds facing Democrats at this point really is the economy. And so you're seeing Democrats sort of tailor their message to economic things. Aside from President Biden's democracy speech last night, what we're seeing now is more about the costs of health care, about student loan debt. You hear President Obama talking a lot about Social Security. So they're trying to tailor their message toward the economic concerns of people. And on the other side of the aisle, Tom mentioned President Trump. He is also stumping in Iowa, and it's sort of the same thing. President Trump at this point isn't going to be winning over any new voters. It's going to be about trying to get that base, that Republican base, more enthused ahead of the vote. But time is running out. You only got a couple of days left. The clock is ticking. And as Tom mentioned already, close to 30 million people have already cast their ballots, Mitch. Wow. And the last time we had a Republican governor in the state of New York was George Pataki in the late 90s and the early aughts. Yeah. So that would be something. Yeah. And again, we're five days away. Can't wait to see how it shakes out. That's Joe Khalil. He is monitoring the campaign trail for us. Joe, thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.